a joke, women playing guitar and playing drums, you know, it had never been done before. So they were forced to band together, form bands together. What do you think is the reason it happened at the same time as punk came up? Um, it was, it was because the whole thing about punk was you just got up on the, on the stage and did whatever you wanted to do, and you didn't have to be professional about it. It started around 76, really, I think, with the slits. They were about the first all women band. They were very much like the Sex Pistols in the beginning. And it was punk that brought them out. It was this idea of getting up on the stage and just just playing, just making a noise and not having to be particularly professional about it. We're just four people. Mm. We're not two men and two women. When we work together, it's personalities that count. Mm. It's char individual characters. When you sit down and write a song, you don't think, oh, I'm a woman, I'll write something about women. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't affect women. I mean, being women doesn't affect music at all. It's, no, it's irrelevant. It doesn't make any we're just, sense We're just a band, just because we happen to be girls. But, you know, it doesn't make much difference. We don't think anyway. Ja, Kann wichtig würde ich sagen, ist es insofern, Aldi, weil ähm, dass die Musik überhaupt bestimmt. Und zwar bestimmt es die Art und Weise, wie wir miteinander umgehen, wie wir miteinander spielen. 
We are Me fucking too. women right. making music. Yeah. You know, that is, that's all there is to say about it. It's obvious, you know. The rhythms are obvious. It's, it's all there. They don't want to be classed as a separate category to male musicians. They just want to be classed as musicians, which is what they are. And doing a program or an interview with women in band and calling it women in rock is categorizing them, separating them. But it's also because um, it's stereotype. A lot of them think they're going to be stereotyped as feminists and as anti-men, and they're not anti-men either. They want to be treated as equals. I don't carry anything for any females, and I hate being called the best female singer because I think I'm better than any male singer as well. I was inspired to do something now. If I was four years younger now, I wouldn't be in a band. Because it's too easy, and it's uh, it's the thing to do if you if you're a bit bored. Whereas it wasn't then. When when we first started the band, it was a bit of a dare and a bit of a risk. Well, we, we always had 
Like me and Kim had a sort of band that was doing uh, the pubs around South London. Before that time, we used to cover like Jimi Hendrix and Led Zeppelin numbers and things like that before we started writing our own material. And then when the punk scene came, we, we still of, carried yeah, on. Yeah, we, we sort of liked, we liked punk music, but you know, we weren't really into playing it because we'd always played heavy stuff. Well, like, we like to think that we're sort we of like new wave-ish anyway. We, we don't want to be sort of old-fashioned heavy rock. singer, female singer, which means that there have been a lot of female singers. Mm. That's the way they've been accepted. That's the way they've been allowed to, to be in rock music. Mm. As a front tinsel, you know, good or bad, they've been allowed to be up there in that position. But as musicians, they haven't so much. I don't know for what reason, society or whatever, they haven't. So I think it's good that I'm actually playing bass in a band. You know, I, I enjoy that feeling. You notice as well that, that because I think in years time there will be a lot of bloody good women musicians around. You know. <laughs>
And like you lose money every gig. I mean, we lose about, we've been doing, um, in this, this pub we've been playing in, uh, we got a residency and we've paid basically mm -hmm. to play there every Monday mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. And the guy wanted us there on a Monday because he wants to try and fill up the pub a bit more on Mondays. He's not into the music at all. And he's he, not into any music, is he? Just and like the equipment costs quite a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's really bad equipment. I mean, we've got awful equipment. But even then, it costs a lot to get bad equipment. Da bleibt meistens immer überhaupt nichts übrig, wenn man was verdient. So da ist überall wieder abgezogen. Das Konzert hat und immer so ausgehungert hat, dass man das ganze Geld in Essen investiert. die wir machen, ist eigentlich sehr persönlich. In der Musik achten wir erstmal darauf, was uns gefällt. Gehen wir nicht so sehr davon aus, was, was die Leute nun so gar nicht hören mögen oder so. Wir haben noch nie etwas nachgespielt. Das wollen wir auch nie machen. Ich war ganz stolz drauf. But we take, try to take our whole personality, you know, with all its faults onto the stage, our clothes. So then you can say in the, in the same breath, it's not entertainment, right? No. It's not entertainment. Because when you entertain, you go out there and you, you, you make bullshit. it up. You entertain, you bullshit, you That's fake the, the way you feel, you, you present it. Even if you think, oh, this is, a, this is crap, you make it look good so the audience have paid their money. And so we don't do that. It's not entertainment. Because to, to me, to me, to define entertainment anyway, is if you entertain someone, then you stimulate something from within them. So if we can go out there and stimulate some kind of interest in, the, in these people, whether it's from our dancing, what we wear, what we say, how, what we play, the atmosphere we create, the mistakes we make, if they can just pick up on one, one of those things and use it, you know, and find it funny or silly or, what, you know, or entertaining, then that's good, you know, we feel like we've done something. But we're not out there to just give them a picture which they can just stare at and be zombied out on, like mesmerised. about it the way they used to talk about beetle haircuts or something like a big trend no the new thing we're now writing about is women in music and it's the same carry on it's the same as it's like it's divisionary Straight. 
Get married, settle down, have children. Doesn't sound very interesting. Never tried it. <laughs> Can you have children? Can you have babies? Never tried. What do you know? Might be great. Yep. I'll give it a whirl. I've never done it before. Don't you think anyone would want to marry me? Here's the thing,
This is the second time you play in Berlin. What do you think about the town? Fucking horrible. <laughs> the audience of the town? Both. I think the town's gorgeous. But the people are fucking horrible. <laughs> like Checkpoint Charlie, it's good there. I wouldn't like to live there. So. Eigentlich geht's uns ganz gut in Berlin. So, wir sind eigentlich so im Moment ganz gut gefragt hier. Also, weil hier gibt's viele <lacht> Auftrittsmöglichkeiten. Die Auftrittsmöglichkeiten, die da sind, die haben wir uns größtenteils eigentlich selber geschaffen. Wir hatten da einmal im Esso, da hatte das noch, wir haben das die Türken noch gemacht, da haben wir die gefragt, ob wir das nochmal mieten können und da haben wir so öfters mal Konzerte gemacht mit vier oder fünf Gruppen zusammen. Haben wir das gemeinsam gemietet, die Plakate gemacht und so. Wir haben eine Erfahrung gehabt, wo wir vor reinem Frauenpublikum gespielt haben, wo die Leute nicht wussten, was wir machen und die also erwartet haben, dass wir irgendwelche nette Unterhaltungsmusik machen und die dann plötzlich da unten standen und jetzt also praktisch dann in der kleinen Schlägerei zum Schluss auch ausartete und sich Frauen äh, äh, praktisch äh, bedroht gefühlt haben im Publikum, die uns gut fanden. Ja, aber das war das, war das einzige Konzert, wo keiner abseits gestanden hat, sondern die einen Frauen waren dafür haben den anderen, die dagegen waren, das Bier ins Gesicht geschüttet und haben sich total gestritten. So, die einen haben die, die Mixer ausgeschaltet, die anderen haben es wieder eingeschaltet. Also es war nichts Larifari, sondern die einen waren unheimlich dafür und die anderen dagegen. Insofern fand ich das also sehr toll. Ja. Und es war, war interessant, ja. weil zum Beispiel irgendwie, ich hätte gedacht, dass äh, gerade Frauen da mehr Verständnis für haben für die Musik, die wir machen. Und es hat sich eben herausgestellt, dass es überhaupt nicht so ist, sondern dass die unheimlich im Schämen denken. Ne? Also das hat sie auch geäußert ja, in ihren Äußerungen, äh, wie sie uns beschimpft haben. Und zwar äh, ging es davon, Männerfotzen bis sonst was, wie sie da hinkamen, die hat auch nicht. Die Leute, die Leute und, und lauter so Äußerungen, die also irgendwie überhaupt nicht passend waren. Ne? Ich meine, sollen sie doch. Ich meine, die Jungs sagen ja auch, lassen ja auch gute Sprüche ab über uns so. So was sie gerne mit uns machen möchten, damit wir wieder normal werden. <lacht> Someone you talk to, something you hear, something you see, you know, road somewhere you go. Even, you know, yeah. people digging up the road. That, that, you know, there's some fantastic rhythms come from those machines. <laughs>
ways than sort of people perhaps <laughs> didn't take us seriously because we were girls. <laughs> no, but especially in the sort of music that we're playing, sort of in the heavy rock thing, it's a very sort of, uh, you know, male orientated sort of music. And um, you often find that many sort of headbangers, you know, they won't accept girls in the band. They like to see sort of, you know, men up there with the, uh, all the poses. Muscles. Muscles. <laughs> never hairy muscles. chests and things like that. Yeah, we haven't got hairy chests. And Do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Silly girl. Hairy armpits. Nichts macht aus, aber alles ist wichtig. and I can sich darüber freuen and sites but it, it's it's we come from one earth you know we're earthlings and it, that's exactly what we're fighting all the time is people's brains that their narrow-minded brains that they want something to cling on to yeah. like it doesn't matter Ari comes from Germany you know she's your sister whether she comes from Germany or Japan so be interested because she's interesting <laughs> Just crap. He was the narrowest without 
God give them I was too good or too far My boy, could he play guitar? Making love with an Ziggy plays a key. 